Hi. Okay. So for this episode, I wanted. I came up with this idea. It's very random, but it's gonna be fun. So when I'm stressed and I'm on my computer, I have this horrible habit of biting not my fingernails but the skin right here next to my fingernails. Shouldn't do that. Very bad. So I came up with a little app that basically, whenever I reach to my hand up here to my face, the webcam is gonna detect that my hand is visible and it's gonna play a sound for me to realize that what I'm doing is very wrong. Okay, so I'm talking too much. Let me just show you how it goes. All right, so let me show you this in action. So as you can see, I'm staying normally. Nothing's happening. But when I reach up with my hand, stop it. Get some help. There we go. The cool thing is we can experiment and use other sounds as well. So let's take a look at this one. Okay, so for this one, we are going to use something called uh, handtrack.js, which uses TensorFlow, and it's going to help us make that hand detection. Now, let me know if you want to see more about machine learning, because I, I kind of want to start to get into Python as well. So let me know if you want to see Python, machine learning, and maybe backend development with Python and all the other cool stuff, stuff you can do with it. So leave it down in the comments. Okay, so this is what we're going to use, and all we have to do is go down here somewhere. Yeah, it's here and I'll just copy the script tag that they give us. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it back into our VS code. So in here, all I have is just an empty HTML an empty app.js and a sound that I want to use. So down here, I'm just going to link both of these together. This is going to be the script tag. And here I'm going to add the script with the source of app.js. All right, so our script. And here, what I want to do is I'm going to load up uh, just a couple things. So I want to have an audio track. The source is going to be our sound. There we go. And I'm going to add an ID of audio. All right. Just to keep everything super simple. That's one. The second thing is going to be our video, which is not going to have a source because what we're going to do is we're going to feed our webcam uh, transmission into this video source. So no, nothing there. We are, we're going to have an ID though, which is going to be video. Okay. That's two. Third one is going to be a canvas. And we basically use this. So this is where you're going to see uh, the detection with that blue box on top on the hands. All right. So we're basically drawing that out on a canvas. I'm going to keep it again, super simple, simple and just name this canvas as well. <sighs> okay. Is that everything? That's everything we need. That's all the HTML. Woo. Screw you, HTML. Nobody likes you. Okay. Close this up. Let's go to app.js. And here is where all the magic happens. So we can access our webcam, uh, yeah, our webcam stream on something called navigator dot get user media. All right. If we do this, this gives us back our webcam and we can then feed it into our video. So now the thing is, uh, depending on which browser you on, uh, you might have a WebKit get user media, a Moz, which is Mozilla Firefox. All right. So what I like to do is at the beginning, I'm just going to get the navigator dot get user media and set this equal to depending which browser I'm on. So I'm just going to copy paste this and you can check it out. It's basically going to be equal to navigator get user media. This is an or symbol. So if it's not this one, then or it's going to switch to this one, this one, or this one. Okay. So that's all this does. Hit save. And yeah, that's good. Uh, and the second thing I'm going to do is just select everything in my HTML. Okay. So the first thing is going to be the video. It's just going to be document dot query selector. And that's going to be the video. All right. We're going to have the audio. So I'm going to switch this to audio. Uh, very boring stuff to be honest. Okay. That's the second one. Let's get the canvas. Just gonna copy paste this again down here, canvas and canvas. And then we just have to set the context of the canvas. We wanna make sure to let it know that, hey, we're working with a 2D context. So to do that, it's very easy. Just say const context is equal to canvas.getContext and set that to 2D. All right. And finally, what we're going to also have is something called a model. All right. And this is going to be set to nothing. And I'm going to add let actually to this because I'm going to re re modify this later. All right. So the model basically is how it works is uh, not to go super in deep with this, but 
uh, you have a model and you tr train your AI to this model. And based on that, um, it's going to detect if your hand is basically on the screen. All right. And the more uh, the, the model is trained and the more data it has, it's going to give you a higher accuracy of detecting your hand. All right. So we have that model, which again, don't worry about this. We're going to load this up from, um, from our script tag there. Okay, so that's all we need here. Now, what we need to actually do is load up that model. So let's do that. Hand track, we're going to get this hand track object. And we're going to say load. And we're going to say this is going to take back a promise. So after it's loaded, then we're going to have access to the loaded model. And this is going to be just an arrow function. And then I'm going to set that model equal to the loaded model. So L model. Okay. So I modify this one and everything should be fine. Now this might take some time again to load up that information. So what we're going to use is um, hand track has a cool fu little function that detects when everything is loaded and that's when it can start detecting and loading up our webcam. So we can call hand track dot start video like so. And this is going to take in an object so we can give this video from our HTML. Okay. And once this is loaded, we can call dot then on top. And this is going to give us back a status parameter. And this basically it says, Hey, it's loaded and everything is good. Or it says, no, it's not. And you should quit coding. Okay. And here, all I want to check is if the status. So if this is true, if everything is all right, we can call that navigator get user media. All right. We can access the webcam here. And what I want to do here is just get this webcam and just stream it into the video. So I got tired. Okay. <laughs> this takes three parameters. The first one is going to be video. All right. So from up here and for now, I'm just going to add a simple curly braces here. So an empty object. Actually, this, the whole thing is in the object here. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to pass in video. All right. And you can pass in some options here, like true. I'm going to leave it empty. That's fine. The second one is going to be something called a stream. All right. This is going to be the callback function. And another one, I'm going to add a comma here after that curly brace. I also have access to an error just in case something goes wrong. I'm going to console log uh, error. Okay. So that's it. That's everything I need. Let me get rid of this like so. Okay. And here, what I want to do is I have access to the stream. So what I want to do is just basically access the video source and pass in this stream. And all the stream is, is basically the information from the webcam. So I'm passing that into the video source. Okay, so here, all I want to do is just say video, all right, so our actual HTML video uh, dot source object is going to be equal to that stream. And that's it. That should start everything up and it should work. So <laughs> let's pray to the gods. Uh, there we go. That's me. Hello. Hello, everybody. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, so this is coming from my webcam uh, on my laptop. So hooray. Okay, let's go back here. So we have this setup, which is very nice. Now we can use that model that we have. And we can check our webcam to see if our hand is, is in there. So what I can do is let's go down here and I can say function run detection, like so. All right, just a simple function, I can get the model and I can add a detect on top of it. So it has a method of detect and I can just pass in the video. All right. And dot then we will have access to something called predictions. And this is going to give us back an array with basically the position of your hands and everything else. All right. So this is the prediction and how many hands are visible on the screen and things of that sort. I'm going to show you, I'm going to console like this. So don't worry too much. Okay, so model.detect video here. Then then we have access to this predictions. I'm just gonna console log predictions. 
All right, so we can see what's going on. Okay, now up here in my stream, I want to run this every, let's do every second. So after we add the source to the stream here, I want to say set interval, and I want to run this detection every 1000 seconds. Now, for some reason, I have no idea why, but uh, this doesn't seem to be working uh, unless you load up some default parameters here in this hand track. And don't ask me why this doesn't work, uh, because I have no idea. But for some reason, if you add this, let's go back to our hand track here. Uh, they have some default parameters you can add to the model. So this one calls model params. Uh, and as you can see here, you have access to a few things like uh, score threshold, which basically means that uh, what's the amount of confidence level that it's your hand? Because it might detect your face and it's going to think it's a hand uh, and it's going to be like, hey, I'm 50% sure this is your hand. Uh, so what you can do is you can set a threshold of being like, hey, only if you're like 90% sure this is a hand, only then show it and detect it. And other things like that, maximum boxes, so the amount of hands it can detect. This can be two for now, okay, because we don't have multiple hands. But if you do have multiple hands, feel free to add more and things of that sort. So let me just copy paste this model params and we're going to drop it up here. Let's go all the way here to the top. Okay, and then I'll just add it here when we load up the model. So I'm just going to pass it in here. Model params. Okay, hit save. It's for some reason jumped to this one. But if we hit F12, as you can see, it just generates that array over and over every second. And if I put my hand up, as you can see, it gives us an array with an object. Take a look. Oh my goodness, take my hand away. Look, it's empty. If we open this up, as you can see, there's a box there and it detects uh, the hand. There are some weird parameters here that I have no idea what it is. Probably the location of this. So, but yeah, it works. So that's good. Now we can paint that image here to the left so we can see. Uh, so let's go back here. And after we set the interval here, which is fine, I'm going to show you a better way we can do this now with set interval. But for now, that's going to do the trick. Uh, what we can do here in the run detection, we can go back here. And what we can do is console log this out. Sure, we can leave it like that. We can get the model and we can render the predictions out. So we can call render predictions and we can pass in the predictions. All right, so this weird object array that we have access to and then the canvas and then the context and then finally the video. Okay, that's all we need and it should work. So let's go back and see. Let this load up. And there we go, that's me. And as you can see, the frame rate is absolutely horrible. So I'm gonna stop this, but if I put my hand up, it's gonna detect it. There we go, hand. Yay, <laughs> everything works fine. Oh, my computer is absolutely horrible. Okay, I'm gonna disable this one because yeah, my computer is just very, very bad. So let's go back here. I'm gonna go and just get rid of this. I'm gonna get rid of this last line of code. But if you wanna keep that there, go ahead. Be my guest. Good. All right. So remove that. That's fine. And now what I want to do is I can just check if the predictions length, all right, is smaller, uh, is bigger than zero. All right. Because as you can see, when our hands are not there, it's basically zero. Uh, and when it detects something, it's just going to feed it in with more. I can do audio.play, all right? We have our sound there, and that's it. That's actually all we have to do. Hit save. Let's take a look again. Whew. Okay, ready? Stop it. Get some help. All right, let me scratch my nose. Stop it. Get some help. All right, there we go. Everything works, so you can... It's not perfect. Stop it. But Get some help. it gets the trick done. So yeah, that's it. There we go. How simple is that? It wasn't really that hard. If you want to run this multiple times, if your computer is a bit better, what you can do is get rid of the set interval and you can run, let's get rid of this. And you can just call the function once, run detection like that. And down here, uh, what you can do is outside of here, 
outside of this if statement, you can run request animation frame and you can pass in this run detection. So this is gonna run over and over and over Stop again. Stop it, get some help. All right, <laughs> so there we go. So this is what you can do. This is gonna run multiple times, but my computer again sucks too much to be able to do this, but hey, that's it. So there we go. I want you to have fun, experiment with this one. You can create a lot of cool things. Imagine uh, that you have your webcam on, it detects your hand and you can maybe draw on the screen using your hands. Maybe you can use it as a controller. You can create a game in the browser and use your hands to move something. So just think about it a bit because you can come up with some very cool stuff. So also 50K subs, unbelievable. I cannot believe it. I had my channel since June and I posted like very unfrequently. I used to post like one video a month, but yeah, till like November or something like that. And it didn't get a lot of traction. So I got up to like a hundred subs, but literally since December till now, we went, we went from like a hundred subs to 50K and it's unbelievable. So thank you again so very much for giving me the opportunity to do this full time. And yeah, hope I can provide you with more awesome content like this. So. Until next time, I will see you inside the machine learning capsule. I don't know what that is. I'm, I'm going.